Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this look right here that I'm wearing. Um, I'm going to be doing a holiday glam tutorial look. Um, a very dramified, very glitter eye, very vampy lip. I did give you guys two different lip options at the end to choose from though. This one and a red classic lip for the holiday look. I know this is the time of year that everyone's doing um, parties and going to holiday work events and things like that. So I just thought it'd be fun to do this um, look to give you guys some inspiration. I did kind of recreate the look I wore um, last weekend to my work holiday party with the um, gold sparkly eye but I did wear a different lip, more of a neutral one. And I did attempt my very first cut crease on camera for you guys, so I feel like it turned out pretty okay. I pre did pretty decent. So I wanted to be able to create a look for you guys using drugstore and affordable makeup products. So sit down, relax. It is kind of a lengthy video, but I wanted to show you guys in depth how I did everything. So before you guys leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon so you don't miss any future videos with me. And if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on Watching. All right guys, so as you can see, I have no makeup on my face and I have my grandma sweater on. Uh, my hair looks a little crazy, but that's because it's in uh, the pins. I just went ahead and curled my hair and just put it in pins and I'm just kind of waiting for it to cool down while we do our makeup. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I don't have anything on my brows, so I'm going to probably do brows first to get that out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and use my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I know you can find this at any drugstore. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and fill in my brows really quick. I might also use Palmade today um, because I don't have a lot of this pencil left and I'm not sure if it's gonna fill everything in with the amount of product that I have left. You guys have seen me done my uh, brows before, so I'm probably just gonna speed through this really quick. have anything left but that's what I got so far. Might fill a little bit in with some um, pomade as well. The color I'm using on this is uh, Brunette. I'm gonna go in with my little bit a little bit of NYX uh, Tame and Frame pomade in the color Brunette as well just to fill in a little bit more. It's a little dried up so I'm gonna use a little bit of oil. I have a makeup oil. brows I'm going in with my wet n wild flat uh, concealer brush and I'm going to be using some of my NYX coverage concealer in the color beige you guys I'm just gonna use a little bit of this to clean up under my brows it's gonna be more of a holiday glam look so I just want to really that extra look this is one of my favorite brushes to use and honestly, I think it's like a dollar at the drugstore. With a brush like this, this is the Morphe E25. I like it because it's nice and pointed. And I just take the pointed side. I forgot I had this brush. It's actually really good. Okay, and my brows are done. Since I'm working with glitter, I think what I'm going to do is use these little eye things underneath my eyes because last time I used this, did this glitter look, um, glitter got everywhere all over my face and I really don't want to have to deal with that. So I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, and just put these underneath my eyes. So it's going to look kind of funny, but it does help with the process. Actually, you know what? I'm going to probably wait to do that until I put the glitter on itself. For eyes, I'm going to be doing a mixture of both. I don't necessarily have a palette from the actual drugstore, but I do have two very affordable palettes that you can easily get in Ulta or you can get one online. So the one palette I'm going to use today is the Carly Bible palette, the original one. I know a lot of people have this one. This I think I bought this for $10 at Ulta inside Ulta stores. So I know they sell them now as well as the Bad Habits Aphrodite palette. Um, this you can get on Hush's site for $10. So I feel like these two are really good alternatives to use on your eyes. So if you don't necessarily like buying things online, then you can definitely find this in your Ulta store, which I consider drugstore. So we're going to be probably using both of these today. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the Aphrodite palette and use Admire, this color brown up here on top. 
um, for a good transition. And I'm just gonna use my Royal and Lane Nickel um, blending brush. Now when I first did this look, I did use the Jaclyn Hill palette, but um, I know you can get it in Ulta, but for me, I mean, it's a pretty pricey palette. It's over 30 bucks, so I didn't really want to use that. I wanted to use something like more affordable, um, and I feel like $10, um, you know, so some people that still might be a lot, but for $10 for a huge eyeshadow palette when you get this many, I feel like that's pretty decent. And then I think I'm going to go in with Seduction, this darker brown over here, and use a um, Morphe E22 and just put that on the outer crease. And then jumping into the Carly palette, I think I want some like mauve tones, so I'm probably going to take this color right here and just put a little tiny bit on this outside. And then I have never done a cut crease before, but I kind of want to try. I think what I'll do is use the um, NYX pot concealer that I have, and we're going to try to um, do a cut crease. Like I said, I've never done one before, so we're just going to roll with it. And then I think we're going to go ahead and do um, some gold shadow. So I really wanted something gold and poppy because we are going to cover it with um, glitter. But I want to still put something on my lid. So like this gold color right here in the Carly Bible palette. And actually I'm going to spray my brush too so it just gives it a little bit more oomph. Because it's the holidays, why not, right? You want your eyes to shimmer. Okay, like so. I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just take some more of the brown, this darker brown, and just smudge and kind of try to blend the corners with that gold. So I think that's good for the eyes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone um, using the color Koi. I really need to tweeze my eyebrows. <laughs> On to the glitter. I have this um, NYX uh, glitter that I used night of the party and then I, the next night I did use this Revlon glitter. I almost think it'd be pretty to just do like a line above, 
but I kind of want to use this glitter on top of the gold I think to use the loose glitter on top of what we have going on right now um for glitter I use the all about base glitter shadow primer from J cats uh, there we go um I got this at the mall in California and it was like four dollars so I don't know I'm assuming you could probably find it in the um, drugstore we don't have um any stores that sell it here so i'm hoping wherever you guys are at you can find it i'm just gonna go ahead and apply it a little bit um it is kind of sticky and tacky so i just apply it on a small flat brush on top i'll just do it on top light coat on top of the gold um eyeshadow that we already put down i'm gonna put this down so does the glitter like i said gets kind of everywhere so i'm just gonna go ahead and cover my face so what i do it does have a little sifter i just pour it into the cap and then whatever falls in the cap i used with my flat shader brush and just applied it add a little bit of glitter i just do a little bit at a time because it does get everywhere Color is a good um, bronze gold color that you could do with a dark lip or a red lip. And with that gold shadow underneath, it really helps it bring that color to life. As much as you want on, however much you want to cover your eye, I'm just going to probably do like a medium. I just set it and then kind of look from far away to see if there's any more that I want to add on there. And I think that's pretty good. So it does help to have something like this down underneath because it does get messy. What we got going on? Look how pretty. And just jump and do the other eye really quick. did the glitter on the other eye and once it's on there pretty much it's good um, I can just take these off because my eyes are pretty much done I did do liner um, just a small wing so I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well I'm going to just be using my um, Lottie London wing liner really go right through this real quick because it's gonna take me a while so we'll fast forward this part eye because I seriously have a favorite eye this one's always so much easier to do for liner than this eye over here for some reason always gives me trouble we're gonna move on to applying um, mascara so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, my lashes really quick a little bit of mascara this is the wet n wild mega volume mascara just a little bit on because we're gonna be putting on false lashes mascara after I do my lower lash line um, today are going to be very glamorous too um, these are the I Luxie brand um, lashes that we're going to be using today they're very dramatic and they do kind of go out on the outside so that's why I like to pair them with a really nice wing all right guys so lashes are on um, like I said they're really dramatic but I think it looks so pretty with this look with the glitter and they do flare out a lot at the ends. I just think it looks so pretty. So moving on to our face and then we'll finally be done. I'm going to use my Koki So Matte um, Primer. A little bit this on this to um, mattify my cheek area. So in this I got at Walmart. And then for foundation I'm going to be doing a mixture of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in the color Golden Beige and Desert Beige. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use this flat brush by, um, I think it's TJ Maxx, the ones that I bought recently. And we're just going to stipple this on. And then with um, concealer today, I'm going to go in with my Milani. Um, I know you can get this at any drugstore. Um, I got mine at Walmart. 
I'm not a fan of this little spongy applicator thing, but you know, it does the job. Okay, and then for setting my powder underneath my eye, I'm going to use my trusty Wet n Wild um, banana shade right here that I always, always use. For face powder, I'm going to use my uh, Maybelline Fit Me in the color Light Medium 20. And for bronzing up my skin today, I'm going to use my Jessie's Girl um, palette that I got at Rite Aid and I'm just going to use my Morphe brush. I just broke this out. I forgot I had it but I'm just going to use this lightest shade over here and a little bit of this darker one and very lightly contour I'm just very lightly putting some on because it's this stuff's very pigmented. Alrighty. And for um, blush today, I'm gonna go in with this LA Girl Color Just Bare. I know you can get these for cheap at the drugstore as well, but this is like a very, very mauve tone color. I don't want anything too pinky for this look. So I'm just gonna take my um, MAC brush that I have sitting right here and just barely putting a little bit on. Just put a little bit of that on my cheeks. Okay, and then to set my brows, before I forget, I'm going to use my Maybelline Precise Brow Definer or Volume Maximizer to just set these brows. This is my favorite for setting brows. It just really holds them in place. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with my um, Wet n Wild Mega Highlighter in the color... Just petals. Going back in with the eyes before I forget, I am going to go back into the Aphrodite palette and um, use my E18 Morphe brush and just do my um, lower lash line really quick. So I'm just taking this Admire and Seduction and just going in and doing the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in probably with this tease color right here and put a small little bit in my, um, maybe this gold color, and highlight the inner corner. We're going to go in with some mascara really quick and do the lower lashes, coat some mascara. And don't forget a little bit of liner. I use my LA Girl liner. Um, just a coal black liner and I got this also online but I know you can find it in drugstores as well and it was literally like three dollars and it's super black so I'm gonna go ahead and um, remove all this hair and then we'll come back and do the lips and we'll be done so I will be right back okay guys so I am back I went ahead and took out the hair and it got very va va boom very fast and I went ahead and added my earrings and put on the shirt that I had for my party. These earrings I got from Forever 21 um, as well as the uh, shirt like forever ago and I just kind of pinned my hair to the side because it did get very curly. So when you're doing those pin curls it, it just gets very poofy and big so um, if you want to try to comb them out and just like use a straightener through them to loosen them up that works but I feel like with these pin curls they just hold your hair so curly for so much longer so that's why I just decided to do the pins and I wanted to be able to show off the earring. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys two different lip options. Um, I am going to start off with the uh, LA Girls lip liner in the color Auburn and we're just going to line the lips and then I'm going to use the color for the liquid or excuse me for the matte velvet lips I'm going to use the color I believe it's Spice 
yeah, spicy. So we're gonna go ahead and just line our lips really quick. I do have a chapstick on underneath this because my lips are really chapped. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on, on top. This is a very vampy look, so just, you know, keep that in mind if this is something that's a little too dark for you. I just think it looks really pretty with the, the gold eye and the green emerald earrings that we have going on. So this is the lip for the first option. Also, too, if you wanted to even do a nude lip, that would be really pretty with this look as well, just because we have so much going on with the eyes. But for me, the holiday season, I think this is a perfect time to break out your very glam makeup. So go ahead and remove this and we'll do the second option for the red lip. For the second one, I'm going to be just using this e.l.f. little lipstick that I have and this is in the color Rich Red. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this. I don't have a liner to put on so we're just going to wing it. is the second option. I apologize, my other camera died right when I was applying it, but I did use the e.l.f. matte color lip and lippy stick in the color rich red. So that's what I have on right here. Personally, I think with this eye, I like the darker vampy lip better, but I just wanted to give you guys another option that you could wear a classic red. This one isn't like a bright red, but it is more comfortable to wear than like a liquid lip. But another good one that um, if you're wanting to look for like a liquid lip, um, wanted more of like a liquid lip that's gonna stay on all night, I would highly suggest the Wet n Wild one in the color Missy and Fierce. This is another one that's really great to wear uh, for a night out with a glitter eye. So those are the two options that I had for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Anything with a gold glittery eye I think pairs well. I love this time of year going to different holiday parties and things like that. It's just so much fun. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed and you get inspiration from this look. I love that we can, um, you know, find good alternatives at the drugstore. So uh, like I said in the video, everything I used you can either find at Walmart, Target, CVS, Rite Aid, all your local local drugstores. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end video here. I just want to wish everyone a good holiday season. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave so you don't miss another video with me. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!